New ban list is here. What does this mean for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel? Hello guys and welcome back to another cold episode. On, on And on today's episode, we are here talking about the new Forbidden and Limited list. I've already actually reacted to this live on my uh, on my stream. So if you want to go check that out, you can go find it in the stream from yesterday. Um, but here is the new ban list. Notably, Runic Fountain and Math Mech Diameter are limited, and there's quite a few semi-limits. Uh, Cyanet Mining, Pot of Desires, Quick Launch, Chaos Base, Pearly, and Pearly Delicious Memory, as well as Stovey Torby, are all semi-limited. Now, what does this actually mean? First of all, nothing. Nothing changes. That's it. <laughs> all of these limitations are basically cosmetic, except for Runic Fountain going to one. That's the only thing that really changes. And Runic Fountain going to one doesn't really hurt stun nearly as much as it hurts basically every other deck that uses runic like for example runic nature uh runic fur hire and runic sprite now granted runic sprite wasn't even the version of runic or er, of sprite that was played a whole bunch in the duelist cup so i'm a little uncertain as to why we decided to hit fountain and i really don't like this hit but overall yeah runic is going to be worse it's still playable and it's still absolutely something that you can utilize to generate more advantage but you're less likely to see your fountain uh and you're not able to cycle it which is notable uh diameter is a cosmetic hit more so than anything yes technically this means that you can't have multiple mathmic diameters and normal summon it to get your play going on turn two uh if you you know search it in at normal summon it on turn one in theory, it's a problem. In practice, it's not, because Math Mech Circular can still dump a second Sigma and do plays like that. Or you could, you know, grab a different normal summon, like, for example, Firewall Defender, which also is basically full combo by itself. So this really doesn't change a whole lot. The only thing that it does is make it look like Math Mech is actually nerfed. It's not. Uh, same with Cyanet Mining. Oh no, now I have 11 starters instead of 12 this doesn't change anything. Uh, Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms is such a mid Dragon Ruler that this is fine. The only reason it's mid, though, to be fair, is the fact that it requires wind. And what winds are currently playable besides, like, Unicorn? Kashira Unicorn is like it. So, there you go. Plot of Desires should be at, like, one. This card's just really good. So, yeah, makes sense. Uh, Quick Launch and Chaos Space are minor nerfs to Thunder... Or, not Thunder Dragon. Uh, Dragon Link... All in all, they're pretty decent hits. Uh, they're not really going to neuter the deck in um, in their plays, and you still basically can play full combos. Uh, it just means that you're less likely to see something like Quick Launch, uh, and more specifically, you're less likely to see multiple of it, which I do think matters, because seeing multiple Quick Launch means that you basically can't interact with Maxi as well in Dragon Link, so that's annoying. Uh, as for Chaos Space, Chaos Space was by far the best card in that deck, being able to grab up the baby dragons, while also being able to search out the, uh, or being able to dump a card to the grave, which is pretty impactful. Uh, and then on top of that, it cycled a card, which is pretty nice as well. As for the Pearly and Pearly Delicious Memory hits, these are, again, mostly cosmetic. I think the biggest thing that it does is that the Pearly limit means that if you end up drawing something like a Pearly and a Pearlily in your opening hand, this means that you're not really able to get as much value off of the um, the Ghost Trick engine. So the Ghost Trick engine might see less play because of the Pearly semi-limit, but honestly, it's not really going to do much. Uh, the Delicious Memory semi-limit also doesn't really change much. Um, the only thing that it does is get is make it so that you're not guaranteed to see Delicious Memory off of my friend Pearly. Does that really change anything? No, not really. But, you know, it goes from a guaranteed chance to a 66% chance of actually seeing that on your opening turn uh, with my friend. Stovey Torby is... something. I don't know what this changes, genuinely. Um, the problem with semi-limits is that they don't really change much in terms of the way that the game plays. It just makes your deck ever so slightly more inconsistent, and it's not really a noticeable inconsistence. It's just, cool, now I have to play a different card instead. Now I have to add one additional card to my deck, which really oftentimes doesn't really change how the deck functions. And especially if everything else is also slightly more inconsistent, that really doesn't change anything for the meta. And... <laughs> 
yeah, Labyrinth probably got away scot-free with this one, if we're realistically talking about it. Um, they're, they're definitely in the quote-unquote best position, uh, post-ban list, out of the top best decks. Uh, but even with that being said, I don't think it really changes anything. However, Unlimits, the Unlimits do matter. And that is Zodiac Dryden going to three changes nothing. That that doesn't change anything. However, Cobalt Sparrow going to three changes nothing. It changes nothing. I'm actually lying to you. The Unlimits literally didn't do anything, and these could have been unlimited ages ago. Same thing with things like um, uh, Conquistador, which is currently at two for some reason. That card was limited for so long. I don't know why. Uh, and then, of course, Long One as well is at two for reasons unknown. Um, heck, you could even give Albaz, uh, or not Albaz, um, Branded back Alubur and Branded opening, because Branded Fusion is at one. So, like, there you go. But, alas, uh, all in all, this ban list doesn't really change a whole lot. It's mostly cosmetic. Uh, it looks like a big ban list. In reality, it's not. Um, yes, it will kind of nerf some of the stuff, but because all of the top decks kind of lost a little bit of power, it's not going to change much. Yes, maybe a deck here or there will be slightly more playable, like maybe Vanquish Soul will be a little bit better, maybe Sprite will be a little bit better, maybe this, that, or the other thing will be a little bit better, but realistically, it's not going to change a whole lot. The, like, Pearly is still by far the best deck, Labyrinth is still the second, Math Mech is still the third, nothing has really changed there. Cool. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy it. If you did, like us very much. I appreciate it. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as more Yu-Gi-Oh!, then just be sure to subscribe and check out my 24-hour stream, which is happening this Friday. If you're wondering when that is, I made a whole video about it uh, with any, the announcement, so go check that out. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye. Shout out to the Frost Guard, my members. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope you enjoy the content.